Hello everybody, my name is Baina. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing an amazing, potentially life-changing product, a portable clothing dryer. We're gonna do a little competition where I'm gonna take two exact towels that are freshly washed and I'm gonna dry one in the portable dryer and I'm gonna dry one in my actual clothing dryer that I have. We're gonna see which one does a better job, which one does faster. And I'm just gonna kind of walk you through how it works and um, the reason and why you would maybe want this, okay? I used to have a portable washing machine. This is when I was living in Los Angeles where I had a big, beautiful apartment, but I didn't have my own washer and dryer in the unit. There were no hookups and the building also didn't have it. So when I found the portable washing machine, it literally changed my life because for the most part, I did not have to go to the laundromat. So when this company contacted me to review a portable clothing dryer, I was absolutely excited to do that because I feel that a lot of Americans do not know about portable washing machines and portable dryers. So behind me, and I will give you guys a close up shot, is this beautiful, that's why I agreed to review it because it's so cute, okay? Portable clothing dryer and you can see it like already matches my kitchen and it's like aesthetic that's what we're talking about and it's like light enough to basically carry so we'll, we're gonna get a closer look at that in a second but i want to kind of just run down some features i haven't tried it yet first of all it's called the morris zero tumble dryer um they're highlighting the fact that it's a compact design already you can see it's here in my kitchen and my cabinets are a standard height my countertop is a standard depth and you can see that it is a, enough space here to be able to place this. This also comes in white, but I chose black because black are all of the accessories that I choose to put into my kitchen. I just feel like that really clean, consistent look, it, it just makes everything feel really organized and everything, which I love. So this company, Morris, claims that the portable clothing dryer is actually 60% faster than a conventional dryer. So we're gonna test that by drying the same wet towel in each one and seeing which does a better job a little bit later in the video. Here's one thing that's really nice that this dryer has that mine does not. This one eliminates 99% of uh, bacteria and mites. So there's a bunch of different dryer settings and one of them is a sanitized setting. I chose to purchase a used stackable washer and dryer, more of the old school metal one, because I feel like this old model will outlive generations of human beings. Like they just don't break down. And I just kind of intuitively decided to go with something like this, as opposed to one of the fancier front loaders, which I know tend to have a lot of mold and you always have to be, it's just a lot more upkeep. Um, and I just felt like that white old school one really fits my vibe and just fits right in that little nook. But there is definitely no sanitizing feature or any of those new modern things on this unit. So that's a nice feature for this guy. I hate to do it, but I do recommend reading these guides before just to know what some of these, you gotta kind of know, just do that work initially. And then it came with this box here, which again, I haven't really gotten into. Um, okay, so this is, I, I did notice this. I was like, what is this? So it came with these little felt balls. I assume this is what you put into the dryer with your clothes to keep the, it moving around. It also came with this, which I did not open. So it looks like it's its own laundry bag, which is, I think, kind of a nice feature. So it's got your own little standing bag. So that's a nice little detail. Okay, so here's a look at the portable dryer. Uh, I will put the dimensions of this, the width by the height on the screen. Let me give you a little three, three-dimensional view here. Okay, so the door opens here, which actually the other way opening would be better for me. Uh, the sticker can be removed. Uh, there is a water tray here, so this will be collecting any water residue from what you're drying. And it's important to know you cannot put sopping wet things in here. It needs to be like it came out of a washing machine. So if you're using this with a portable washing machine, you're just gonna wanna spin dry it. This is actually the lint tray. So you're supposed to clean this after every two to three, I'll put what, how often you're supposed to clean it. And then these, these two pieces easily come apart and then you can just clean it, air dry it, 
gently put it back together and then pop it right back in. You saw how easy that was for me to take out. Um, there we go. Okay, just locks into place. If you're cleaning this or anything, you just want to use like a damp rag. You don't want to use any bleach, any solvents, anything like that. This is the maximum height that you're supposed to fill it up to. So about halfway, do not overfill it. This is the on off switch. So this is off, this is on. So here's the control panel on top. And just to turn it on, here's the power button right here. Oh, you have to hold it on a little bit longer. Okay, so it's set right now to auto speed. If you wanna increase the time, you can go up. Oh, you can go down. These are like auto settings. Let's push this and see. Sorry, I didn't do my nails, guys. Okay, so there's a shirt setting, which is nice. Silk setting, these are the presets. Warm setting, if you wanna refresh. Shoe setting, which is incredible, and a sanitized setting. And then actually, smart setting as well. So it'll just, you put your clothes in there and then it's gonna detect. So I wanna do a test on this dryer with the towels. So are we gonna do auto quick or are we gonna do warm? Okay, so I have two wet towels that have just been washed. They're exactly the same towel. We're gonna dry one for 15 minutes in this conventional dryer, and then we're gonna dry this one in the portable clothing dryer. Let's see which one dries faster and which one does a better job. This one has a timer that's like accurate. So I'm gonna set this one to 15 minutes on the warm setting since that is what is recommended for towels. And then I'm gonna run over there and turn on my dryer. It's gonna be on high heat as well for that 15 minutes. And then we'll just check in at the 15 minutes and see what the towels look like. Okay, so this is a disclaimer. I am filming this like a couple of days after recording the video. I learned that the warm setting on this dryer is a much lower temperature than the high heat setting on my dryer. So I'm already starting off the competition, putting the portable dryer at a disadvantage. However, I still want you to watch it because you're probably gonna still, I think this still ends up winning in the end. Um, and I'll show you why, just continue to watch. Okay, so it is kind of loud, not gonna lie. Like, you definitely know something is on in the space and it smells a little weird. Maybe because it's brand new. Just like new plasticky, kind of. And then my dryer is loud as hell as well. It's loud. It's hot. And you know what? I wallpapered the inside of this laundry room and I have I usually keep the door open when I dry. I've never had an issue with this peeling or anything. And it's actually peel and stick contact paper from the dollar store. So it's not even like it's the most high quality, but like all that heat has not disrupted my paper one little bit. Okay, so now it says all done. I don't know, 15 minutes might not have been enough time for either. Let's see. Okay, it looks fluffy and delicious. Okay, it's still damp. It's still damp but it feels kind of dryish. You can kind of see the quality, okay? Okay. This one is still damp, but it's kind of dryish as well. So they both kind of feel the same. Almost identical, but they need more time. Okay, I just want to pop in here to make this clear. The portable dryer was set at a lower temperature than my regular dryer and the two towels both dried exactly the same in that amount of time. So I would say that the portable dryer does actually do a better job if it can do the same at a lower temperature, if that makes sense. Probably another five minutes and these are dried. So I would say this is awesome. I would say this works just as good as a conventional dryer. Um, I think it's uh, fantastic if you have no washer or dryer hookup. Okay, so I'm just gonna dry a couple more things. I've got some underwear from Skims, the Fits Everybody collection, the best one if you ask me. I've got a couple of bamboo pillowcases. 
I've got a pair of white sweatpants from Zara and a hand towel. And I just want to put all of this on the smart setting just to detect, you know, the level of wetness and then it'll just dry as long as it needs to. It's, there's some blowing out. Okay, and that's marble contact paper. It's a little moist actually back here. Okay, there's condensation. But you know what? This, I was so worried about this marble contact paper. When I had this dishwasher, I thought, oh my God, for sure this whole thing is gonna get just moldy. Never has, actually, I don't know, I can't tell. Never ever has. And I've had this on here for a year and a half now. Fantastic. Okay, so I've actually just been editing the film that I've already recorded and I forgot how long this has been going. It's still on the auto. So let's just open it up and see how to pause it. So that's pretty much the power button. Pause it. And then now we're gonna open it. And let's just see where we are. Uh, okay, here's the bamboo. This is always this kind of wrinkly, but it's actually kind of dry. Okay, so this is the bamboo. Well, it's a little, needs maybe a little bit more time. Um, Underwear is definitely done. Not going to show you that, but okay, we're good. Good to go with that. Um, actually, everything is almost dry. Hand towels dry. Uh, sweatpants, Zara sweatpants uh, dry. Yeah, feels like a real dryer. dry. Don't let this wrinkled pillowcase like deter you because these come out the regular dryer looking wrinkly like this as well. Just the nature of bamboo. Okay. Underwear, good to go. Probably in there way too long. Yeah. Okay. So I have a coupon code for you guys. The code is going to be my name, Baina. I'll put that here. All the information, the discount code, the links to the products are going to be listed in the description box below. I believe it's around the $500 range, which at first might seem a little bit intimidating, but if you truly think about your lifestyle and if this could help your life be more efficient and enjoyable just to have the power to be able to dry things in your home, if you're already using a portable washing machine and or you have a young child or there's a scenario where this would make sense for you, I highly encourage it. I feel like this is what happiness is, honestly. Being able to wash your clothes and have that freedom anytime you want. It's like the joy of life, it's power of choice, it's freedom. I don't know, I love it, I recommend it. I like the fact that it sanitizes, that's something that my trusty old washer dryer doesn't do. And that's why I did the video. Even though I don't have a lot of storage here and like, you know, I already have a washing machine, I don't really have a lot of places to put it. I just really wanna bring you guys reviews that I feel like would help you out um, in your day-to-day -day lives. So, Please give the video a thumbs up. You can let me know if you have any questions in the links below. Um, I for sure can see myself using this, especially if I'm doing a bunch of laundry or I wanna isolate maybe intimates or certain garments or refresh something, de-wrinkle it. Like I will definitely use this. And I feel like, well, why not keep it on my countertop? I think it looks good. So thank you guys so much for watching and uh, please hit that subscribe button. I'll talk to you later, bye.